Listen, man, I just want to take a moment here. Please have a seat, everybody. I want to take a moment here to say congratulations to you, everybody over there, and everybody who works on this show, because today, The Late Show got nominated for six Emmys. Yeah. And nice congratulations, you guys. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Best show, uh, best writing, uh, best directing, and I'm so proud of everybody who works here. Everybody's responsible for this kind of stuff. So tonight... There's something special. At the end of the show, we're gonna scroll all their names on the screen. <laughs> and it's six nominations this year because it's not only for this show, but it's also for our election special, which I don't remember all that well. <laughs> because we're nominated in the category of outstanding opening a bottle of bourbon and crying on live television. <laughs> but anyway, congratulations, everybody. Thank you for everything you did. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> You know, uh, I've got teen kids, uh, folks, and when you got teens, there's so much to worry about. But every once in a while, I like to take my mind off those worries and instead worry about what the local news says I should worry about. <laughs> this is The Late Show's Teen Secrets. Teen Secrets. You know, it is no secret that teens are always looking for a way to get high, unlike us adults. <laughs> Cheers to us, by the way. <laughs> mm. Mm. Well, there's a new high out there from an unexpected source. A new way to get a buzz from something that's inexpensive, widely available, perfectly legal, and teens already love it. Chocolate, a new chocolate-based product, Coco Loco, is a powder that users can snort. Finally, a chocolate you don't have to taste. <laughs> this gives an entirely new definition to brown nosing. <laughs> this snortable chocolate is Coco Loco and costs $24.99 for 10 servings. Now, that sounds like a lot, but remember, there's also a chocolate on the market that costs $100,000. <laughs> And that won't even get you high. <laughs> so what's in it? I'll let the CEO of Coco Loco explain. It's basically crazy chocolate because it's chocolate mixed with other things that creates a, a crazy effect. Something tells me <laughs> that snortable chocolate isn't the first time this guy's had a brush with nose candy. <laughs> and Coco Loco is more than just inhalable chocolate, folks, because it's mixed with a bunch of other crap. The product is actually a blend, cacao powder mixed with other ingredients that are often found in energy drinks. The makers claim Coco Loco can produce an elevated mood and a state of euphoria similar to the feeling of ecstasy. But more like the feeling of, hey guys, I couldn't get ecstasy, you want to snort some Ovaltine? <laughs> Coco Loco has even gotten the attention of Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, who said... This suspect product has no clear health value. I can't think of a single parent who thinks it's a good idea for their children to be snorting over-the-counter stimulants up their noses. <laughs> wow, what a gloomy Gus. <laughs> Sounds like somebody needs a bump of Coco Loco. <laughs> and skinny Jonah Hill here isn't concerned <laughs> about the potential health effects. I didn't consult with any medical professionals. There you have it. <laughs> He didn't consult with any medical professionals. Problem ignored. <laughs> Though he did do some research to make sure Coco Loco was safe. I basically just saw what Europe was going on with Europe. I, there was no health issues. It's been out two, three years. Everybody seems fine. It's very popular. There's really no negative publicity, so I felt we're, we're good to go. Yeah, we're good to go. Why don't we test all drugs that way? I mean, no one currently on cocaine has any complaints about it. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, this guy and his snortable chocolate had made me realize all the ways that candy pushers are already after our kids. This sugar epidemic is bigger than just Coco Loco, and we have a choice. Do we confront it now or later? <laughs> of course, some airheads may say that candy is 
good and plenty of people use it, but ignore their Snickers because the Smarties know we're in mounds of trouble. It seems innocent, but eventually you'll blow every payday, go on a crime <laughs> spree, <laughs> and the next thing you know, you're on the street turning Twix. <laughs> we'll be right back.